What do you have uh, leading us off today? Do you want to talk about more conflicting uh, economic data? I, I can do that. Our, our biggest uh, piece of economic data is not coming out until uh, when we're filming this tomorrow, which is once again the consumer uh, expenditures that the Fed likes to use when they make their decisions on uh, rate adjustments. So that we'll save that for next week and provide an update on that because that is an important number. However, once again, we have some conflicting data. So last week we reported that the uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics revised the mm -hmm. employment numbers from uh, last April through March okay. of this year mm -hmm downward by 818,000 jobs, and that's like a 28% adjustment downward, which um, really got the Fed's attention because mm -hmm. that's like, that's not the way it's supposed to be working. Well, now the <laughs> they came out with new uh, second quarter economic growth data, and they revised that quarterly data upward fairly significantly from like 2.3%, oh, excuse me, 2.8% up to 3%. And a large part of that was due to consumer spending was revised upward from 2.3% to 2.9%. Mm -hmm. Again, these are not insignificant numbers. And we, yeah, of course, when, when the G, uh, gross national product information comes out, we always know it's gonna be revised. But some of these swings are a little surprising. So. This is again in direct conflict with some of the other numbers that we've been seeing going on in the economy. So it's, it's really a puzzle right now and I'm sure this additional data is gonna go into the mixer for the Fed as mm -hmm. they meet in September to decide what to do with rates. Yep, anything else on, on that part of it? No, uh, again, quiet right. week again this week. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I, other than what's coming out this Friday, next week's gonna be likely a fairly quiet week with the Labor Day holiday. Mm -hmm. um, I, I haven't looked at the calendar yet for what else is coming up, but whenever there's a holiday, things tend to get chilled a little bit on the news front. So, okay. But we'll be back next week reporting what happened at the end of this week and uh, any other news that might come out after the Labor Day holiday. So some other data that we have, uh, existing home sales. So we talked a lot about new builds, but on the existing mm -hmm. home sale front, um, that rose in July for the first time in five months. Um, and so this is a change of trend that we've been seeing here for the last several months. And we feel like this is probably due to the fact that rates have come down yep. a little bit here recently. Um, and so people have started dipping their toes back into the market. Yeah, and one of the articles I read yesterday is, is you know, we're approaching that 6.5% in some areas, you can probably get that uh, mortgage rate. And historically, that's been the average, if you look really long term, mm -hmm. that's the average mortgage rate is 6.5%. So, you know, if you're waiting for those rocking three percenters, you're not going to see that for a long time. This is normal right. where we're at right now. Now, we think it's going to go a little bit lower, but, um, you know, so I think th that's going to slowly move buyers back into the market now that we're back into the mid sixes. We would kind of mm -hmm. looked at six and a half as being one of the trigger points. And we got a quote uh, yesterday for government rates with a five as the first number. Yes. Uh, upper fives, but still, it, when we heard five, I went, oh. <laughs> yes, so if you're eligible for an FHA loan or a USDA loan or something like or that. Or a VA loan. Or a VA loan, you, you're in the fives right now. So yeah. that's excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. So along these lines, um, We've talked about the Pima Tucson um, down payment assistance program on here before, um, and we talked about it when Lighthouse 5.0 was coming out. Mm -hmm. um, those funds got snatched up within the day that the program launched. Um, it was waitlisted by the next day. So making the announcement now that um, Lighthouse 6.0 down payment assistance um, 
The rate announcement will be on the 10th of September and reservations will open on the 11th. Okay. So if, again, if you're looking for a down payment assistance program in the Tucson area, Pima County area, um, this is a really nice program. Um, and so more funds will be available again in a couple weeks. And you have to have the, the property in mind or an offer on it when you apply for these funds. You have to be in contract, yes. Yes, so if you're looking to acquire these down payment assistance funds, now's the time to be out looking and trying to get under contract. Yep, so that's what I've got today on, on the economic side and the real estate side. Okay.